Right. Last time we played this, there was stuff at the box office. So we'll start up some of these. Hikari Refrain. This is the only one that's left. Well, it feels as though we're finally approaching the grand finale to all these special screenings. Thinking back, the countless shows you've been a part of were all truly spectacular in their own way. Yeah. I always look forward to them now, since I get to see different sides to everyone. They're all so memorable, like great movies should be. It's about time you take a break. Enjoy a screening of the special sort. It would seem a deadly shadow has appeared in the depths of Hikari's movie. Please slay it and thus prove your strength. Hello, Jumpy. How's it going? It's going good. We're gonna see if this Citra update stabilized if even only a little, <laughs> the uh, mayhem that playing this game on emulator has been <laughs> in the recent days. <laughs> yeah, we'll take them on. It's a perfect opportunity to train ourselves even harder. Yeah, Senpai's right. We've got a lot more fighting ahead of us, after all. So, what's the deets? If this is just like usual, it's gonna have a specific cast, right? Eh? Huh? Yes. Beasy. According to the ticket, you appear to be a specified cast member for this screening. Wait! Me? Oh! Only 125,000 to one hit kill. Nice! Indeed so. Please make certain that you participate in this battle, BZ. You got this, leading lady. Don't worry, there's no way you can lose. You got me on your side, and I'm the biggest superstar here. <laughs> Thanks, Junpei, but I won't expect any big heroics. <laughs> hey now, I could be a hero if I wanted. <sighs> when you say it like that, you sound like even more of a loser. Well then, everyone, I invite you to display your power to your heart's content. And when you've accomplished this deed with your usual aplomb, Finally, my time will come! Oh, the thrill of it! My heart is pounding! Seems kind of distracted, so... You'd better focus on beating that enemy down there. Need some trophy hunting to fill the void. Do whatever your heart calls for. She said it was in the depths of Hikari-chan's movie, right? That's her all set, let's get going! Oh yeah, aren't I trying to keep people until level 60 now, possibly? <laughs> That's a possibility. I don't know how to pronounce that. Zizim... Zizimit... Zizimittle. I don't know. Z... Ah! Now what... 
uh, equipment did I just have? Hello, Link. I'm doing good. HP and magic. That might actually work. That'd be easy. Oh yeah, Operation Keep One Person in the Party at All Times. You're right, actually. You've reminded me of that. <sighs> Baking a recipe for social over. Nice. Well, if that is the only one we face within the next hour, then we can still say that the emulator update fixed something. But, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a little early. <laughs> We may have to still do that save state everywhere. But it's fine, because I saved after I gave her the persona, just not the equipment. Who's I guess? My idea is... I think I know who I'm going to bring. I'm going to make a squad. And the squad will be... I'm thinking the squad will be... This will be it. Cause Zebby kind of strong. <laughs> there is also Akihiko, but the reason why I'm thinking it's Ziku and Shinji is because they both have returned from Yomi, which is kind of insane. We need a healer. We will name this one the plan. <laughs> yeah. Now, of course, mind you, that means that I need to actually have some of the people if I'm to work on them. Presence, which means I think other than Zebby, I'm gonna have everyone else in the party. It's actually really funny because that means that it's all Persona 3 people and Ziku, which is kind of sad, but... Let's just bring everyone, we'll be fine. <laughs> Get the fuck out on. Well, I can't not bring BZ, because we're doing a special ticket. So I can't bring Naoto. But thinking about it, yeah. I'll just bring everybody that I that I can bring. We <laughs> excluding Naoto. Though thinking about it. Should Naoto even be in the plan if I have Dark from Ziku already? Yeah, Yukari is best healing. Maybe this'll be the plan. It'll be all main characters except for... Well, no, I can't have both of them. I don't think I can have both BZ and Zebi because of their elements. They have the same affinities and weaknesses, although... So 
You're versatile, right? Which means I can have this. Yeah, three embassies, because why not? <laughs> yeah, this will be the plan, I think. I'm sorry, BZ. Unless something happens and she gets some insane passives, I think no. I think her male counterpart is stronger. You know, because of Heat Riser, Mind Charge, and the passive that lets him do more damage with any element. So it doesn't matter what sub persona he has on, it just does more damage. <laughs> pro tags I could, but that would mean I would delegate someone eternally to healing. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe we do put um, Z in instead of Zebby. Because I've just realized I have no physical unless I have B's ears or Z. <laughs> if I could have a party of six, I would, but no. Five is the limit. Zen and Ray were one unit, though. <laughs> she needs the Alexia pot. Actually, thinking about this, I could probably put the pot pots on multiple people, so let me do that. One was scared and one was not. <laughs> Seeker's weak to ice and light. Curse, nothing. Ice and bless. Electricity and curse. Electricity. Yeah, I have a lot of people like to electricity right now. Oh, I save all the time. <laughs> Stitcher things. Oh. I want to put an infrared cable on somebody so badly. Like, thinking about it. 
Yeah, invigorate one. Just sit your things. their equipment? Yes. Okay. Personas. Yeah. And I did confirmation. I have Invig 1 on Zevi. Yeah, I don't think the update fixed it per se, but... It's fine. Everybody is setting up actually, though. <laughs> about to tank some pits. Oh, nice. Magic and agility. Or rather, that's physical dying. Jesus curse. <laughs> yeah, he has 800 HP. <laughs> Wind, sigh, nuke, light. Oh, <laughs> 
easy meal. Okay, resist science. Weak to psychokinesis. Oh boy. Nice trip. Ow. Stupid ice corrosion. Okay, ice corrosion is gone, thank goodness. Still bound. Oh yeah, sweet to move, isn't it? Yes, it is. Man, it resists both of the elements that he uses. Oh well. I guess they go on. Uh, actually, this is a ticket. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just shoot him. I will be level grinding though. Okay. Yes, this is ticket number 45. Oh, that sucks. Still agility bound, but now just put on a bunch of buffs. She's gonna have to use the cloud, uh... And you get to use Salome's kiss. Nice, magic and strength fine. Actually, wait, if it's still agility bound by the end of this turn, it means that it's completely bound. because support is being included among, like, bind skills and insta-kills since they're status ailments. So, I guess status ailment inflicting personas are classified as being support. Which is very bizarre, but... <sighs> yes, it's so close. So close, and yet so far. Actually, that was really funny. There's a tweet. 
his heart's thinking, uh, Heart and Scarf is planning on buying portable. And I was like, oh no. No! Ah, oh, damn it. Alright. We'll make save states in the middle of the fight. Yeah. The update seems to have not fixed the situation. Although it seems to be a little, just a little less frequent. That doesn't mean that they don't happen. I was saying good things about you, Citra. <laughs> Nice day night. <laughs> yeah, no, it's been doing that. <laughs> Just sit your things. <laughs> Just sit your things. More like Persona Q2 on Citra things. It seems if the game is not classified as okay or higher, it basically means that there's going to be a, a bunch of jank regarding a number of stuff. And if I recall correctly, this one is, yeah, not tested. Meanwhile, Persona Q is okay which is like a greenish yellow, which means like some issues, but it runs for the most part. Fewer issues than this <laughs> has been. I would, this would probably end up being considered okay. Or just bad. It might be put under bad. I don't know. Okay, we know this thing is weak to nuclear. So I'm just gonna... I'm a setup. Yeah, I think I will. I'll send... I, I'll be that one. I'll send a report of like... Yeah, it's... Whatever. <laughs> I think there's just something intrinsically in Nintendo games that makes emulating it a pain. Um, a rank below bad? Uh, unplayable. <laughs> that is the rank. I think it's like, perfect, great, okay, neutral, bad, poor, and unplayable. Oh, nice! It can get poisoned.
one. This case is like, what, 50? No, that's Dai for me. Ah, but she's missed. Uh, Ziku. Our set is weak to ice and light. It also knows ice corrosion, but um, it doesn't really change anything in regards to Ziku. I also think because I blocked its men, it hasn't successfully put that on anybody. Yeah, it's like 42. No! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes when I stop, it's because I'm waiting for them to stop talking so I can save. <laughs> okay, try that again. Please? Ah, strength body. Well, it's better than nothing. Try this crit. Okay, we saw this one. In another timeline, we saw this one today. <laughs> okay. Kind of another reason why I want to... Oh, he woke up! <laughs> She's wasting her turns doing Takaja. <laughs> Just so it doesn't dodge shit. Citra is good at making alternate timelines. It is. It really is. <laughs> Alright, we draw the line. That's good. Although I think it's dead. No! This is why I wanted to Ow! Oh, <laughs> Poison hurts. A lot. Alright, there's Atropos. The growth in sense. Whew, we did it. A spectacular showing, Zakita. Your efforts are an inspiration to us all. Speaking of inspiration, I inspire to not do that fight again, so let's save. <laughs> Aw, thanks, sweet Suru Senpai. To be honest, though, I was just focused on kicking its butt. Thanks for the backup, Joker. It helped me fight just like I did back home. Oh, look! There's something on the ground. Wow, that's a relief. If I was the only one who didn't get a prize, it'd be super embarrassing. It really is kind of mysterious, huh? Here, maybe you should hold on to it. Change City Film! Well, we'd better start heading back. This was probably waiting. Even shadows of tremendous power are nothing but child's play for you. 
You've all grown admirably since your arrival here. Your newfound power is truly remarkable. You're all really amazing. I've been watching you, so I can tell. You've all been getting stronger and stronger. Yeah, I kind of surprised myself. But still, I'm fighting for everyone, not just myself. I think that's the only reason I made it this far. You each work to hone your ability, and fateful meetings give birth to further power. I feel I've learned something vitally important from watching your exploits on the silver screen. Though it may not be my place, I'd like to thank you all once more. It's your turn next. Hi. Snooty Phil. <laughs> Probably through our long avant garb movie. <laughs> yes, I understand. Limitless possibilities are hidden within that obscure film. I feel the hour drawing near. Soon we, sh we will see all its secrets laid bare. But for now, there is nothing more I can say. In any case, please come speak to me once you are prepared. I never felt like... Ah, oh, shit. Dine at 59? Interesting. Do you sense anything from the prisoner yet? Hey, that's a book of Enoch! Michael! こいつを上書きするのか? <laughs> I can make I can make her, but I need to work on Sorosha. Good luck is level 72! I need Blore and then Vomit. Can't make Void yet. Michael is level 68! Ah! <laughs> If we die at 59, is good rhyme. <laughs> All right. The plan. Is this the plan? Do we have Zebby or Beezy in the plan? Because I think the plan is this. I think this is the plan. <laughs> Why not both? They're both weak to the exact same things. Um, so it's kind of not good. <laughs> they have- neither of them have complete resistance to anything. And, well, I mean, once they're both- once they both have Messiah, maybe it'll be a different story. I do want to see if either of them will learn salvation, because if either of them does... We have Yukari for healing, it'll be fine. Yeah, that's the thing. Yukari has to have the Alexial pot in order for me to not have two people who are weak to electricity. But it's like, yeah, do we do Z? Or do we just have Shinji do all the physicals for the most part and everybody else is magic? Them both be a spot. We have the plan and the other plan.
<laughs> this was my fourth lab team when I was working on people. But I'll keep it as it is, but yeah. Unless something comes up and I need to work on a bunch of people, I don't think. <laughs> Risei has also once again cemented herself as the best nav for battling. Were you trying to make a catchy useful? Yeah, I wanted to see what he was gonna do, and he didn't do anything magical. At least he hasn't yet. I'm probably still gonna be making sacrifice fusions. As needed for um, keeping everybody in the same ballpark, but yeah. <laughs> We're kind of at that stage. <laughs> that would be amazing. I think he has the desperate plate on right now. Does everybody have the best stuff? No, she was <laughs> she was wearing the egoist coat. Our coat. He has Luna Edge. He has Luminator. He has our Sense King. Hmm. Edge plus four. Sure. Ladies. Okay. growth incense. I'm gonna give it to him. If he is going to be tanking hits, I think he needs the most HP. Although, let's let's look. What are their levels? They're all in the same playing field except for <laughs> Yukari is a bit ahead of them. Quadruple Link would be cool. Broadshot would be nice. Black Spot would be amazing. Agidine. Agidine. And then since Z hasn't been completely knocked out of the running, I could give it to him. Swordbreaker is a really good passive, I have found. I may give it to Z. That way I don't have to do any sacrifice fusion stuffs for him. We'll see. How much do you get? 300,000? Oh my god. Sixty-one. He's learning Blade of Fury. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like he he is physical. Hilarious high, hilariously high level or a useful skill? <laughs> Question that so rarely is ever asked. It would be fun. He has so much HP already. The only thing is that he's slow. <laughs> that is something that they fixed in this game. By having them have shield moves that give some movement priority where they'll move sooner even th if their agility is really low is very nice. But it's time. It's not a matter of issuing a ticket. It's a matter of talking. Well, everyone, the time has finally come. You've acquired four pieces of film. Of those, three have regained their shine, and only one remains sooty. 
so once we display our ability to the one last arbiter of power. The game will crash. <laughs> this is why we save. <laughs> <laughs> Ziku's power of the wild card will change somehow. It was Akechi's fault. How dare you, Akechi? <laughs> he didn't take very kindly to me insulting him. <laughs> How dare you, Akechi? Happens again while he's on screen this time. Except Royal made the implication that he <laughs> lived, so. <laughs> Damn it, Akechi, this is why we can't have nice things. Wrong <laughs> <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Let me pass this, please. I don't know if I got all that, but what it comes down to is that something crazy is gonna happen, right? Loosely speaking, I suppose that's about the right. Now then, answer the following. Ah, you surprised me. In this crucial moment of fate, who shall appear as the next governor of power? Um, what's she getting all worked up about? Does she even need to ask? <laughs> nah, I think this one's more about the showmanship. I can't hear you, anyone. Well then, you're the leader here, Ziku. Let's have you answer. You should probably answer... Elizabeth? My! What a shock! You are correct! I suppose you aren't a leader for nothing, Ziku. I, Elizabeth, shall strive to prove myself worthy of this honor role. Then, let us go to the Velvet Room and we shall... Ah, uh, before that... Huh? Where's she going? Is that the Kamashidama sign? What's she doing over there? Lemon's back. <laughs> Retrieving something from behind it, apparently. Hot dogs. Wait, that's where she was hiding hers? Whoa, she's just gonna eat them all right now, huh? Oh, she's coming back. Pardon my stepping away. I am now fully charged and ready to fight. Once you are likewise ready, please speak to... Understood. Then let us move to a more suitable location. Welcome to the Velvet Room. <laughs> I must say, donning the uniform has done wonders to prepare my mind. Elizabeth, getting serious. Yes, naturally. I can only thank fate for bringing us together. With gratitude, I shall make this a fierce bout indeed. Yeah, but what an immense presence! I've never seen her like this! <laughs> I am she who governs power. If you would overcome me, then show me the full scope of your strength. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna win this. Should you succeed, I know without a doubt that you shall discover new possibilities within yourselves. We'll use all our power. <laughs> I can ask for nothing more. 
Truly, I cannot remember feeling such elation. Not since I first began serving my master. Somehow, you bearers of potential have defied time and space, and now you stand shoulder to shoulder. I shall give you an honorable fight, a battle befitting one who governs power. My now best. then, here I come! Well then, it seems the time for conversation is over. Now, you can only focus on wielding your power to its fullest extent. Setting up right Will this work? So <laughs> uh oh. I don't think I should waste the time trying to apply status effects. <laughs> that sucks. If it's new, you cannot die mode. Yeah. The safety was kind of like that. Where if you fail, you can revive. But instead of it being at the start of the battle, I think it's just wherever you were in the middle of the fight. Just odd. It's a fire right now, might as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, she may have to use this. Yeah, it's kind of like Phoenix mode in some of the newer fire up games, which is literally like at the end of the turn, anyone who dies comes back to life. Uh oh. Good thing I had her using Mediorama. <laughs> so well, that's scary. <laughs> I should warn you, I'm no stranger to this sort of roughhousing. Ah, uh, this? No, it's nothing. You needn't worry about me. I advise you come at me as if you aim to kill. If you need to heal, are you sure about that? I think she's talking about the magic line, but... I don't know what this one's weak to, but I don't think I'll change my approach much.
kills with that. I dare say, I'm getting a little carried away. I will make a save, this isn't looking spicy, but... Should be fine. We shall see, though! Ah. Uh, she does attack. Twice, so this should be fine. So yeah. Better him than anyone else. That means that he's not pulling off Heat Razor. Ow! Any SP restoratives? That's not good. Well, <laughs> this is going to hurt. Ow. Luckily, um, Mother Harlot has many Arama. So Zeke could probably pick up the healing. It won't be as effective, but... It should be... Okay.
Oh, nice, repulse missed. <laughs> this is going to knock his easy match, sucks. I was right. Your spirit is remarkable. However, remember that misjudging a battle, especially this link, should be a disservice to your power. That's it! That would suck. Ah, oh, Mothra and Ruler are off. That's good. Well done. Your power is most excellent indeed. Oh, right. Did the poison kill her? It did. <laughs> All that remains is disappointment. Not because I have been bested, but because our performance has drawn to a close. You were strong, and the game was annoying. Yeah. No, while I have some knowledge of this rough play, I am still quite inexperienced. That was a wonderful fight. I felt a fire blaze in my heart from spe spectation alone. Sister, I didn't know you were here. Hmm. Yes. I had hoped to see this battle. Not only did I aim to witness the power they've nurtured here, I wish to see what possibilities lie beyond their magnificent display. Me. Oh, right, that film! Now glowing. The four pieces of film are shining powerfully bright together. Is it... <clears throat> yeah. A brilliant light floods the area. <laughs> Hello, Satan <laughs> Ale! Look at that! No weaknesses! Ooh. Rebel Vanguard has been upgraded to Rebel Vanguard! Spicy! Being reborn as Izanagi no Okami awakens new powers! Oh, they. <laughs> Okay, yeah, not as strong as Satanale. <laughs> not as strong as Satanale. <laughs> it only resists the four primary elements and Null's curse. He is not. He doesn't even resist Bless. <laughs> Sword Breaker has been upgraded to Protecting Sword. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm sorry? Ah! Uh, why Orpheus Telos? Huh? I... I 
was expecting a messiah. Judgment card. And she gets messiah. Well, damn. So that's how they differentiated them. She got Messiah, and he gets Orpheus Telos. That's insane. Residence has been upgraded to Telepathic Bomb. Holy fucking shit. That light just now. It's like something's changed within me. I think Sevi got Chef. Are you sure about that? Orpheus Telos is the strongest persona. Granted, Satanale seems to be stronger since they didn't give Orpheus Telos resistances to the new elements. Orpheus Telos is still a crack motherfucker who doesn't have any weakness. Is this my... I sense a new power within my heart. <laughs> it seems you've all grasped a new possibility. It has been a joy and a privilege to witness such a rare sight. If I might ask, how do you feel? Confused. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> yes, truly. I cannot wait to see what you can accomplish from here on. Either way, it is staggering indeed to know you've bested all those who govern power, myself included. <sighs> I'm certain this will be a great surprise indeed to our master. You've done well in coming so far, though perhaps all this was simply your fate. I'd say it's thanks to us keeping up with those special screenings. After all, that was where this all began. Yeah, we'd have gotten nowhere without those. Makes you wonder who was pulling the strings. Um, well, I don't know if anyone set it up deliberately, but I've been thinking about it. I wonder if it's more like the special screenings happen based on your emotions? Or wishes, I guess? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you withheld that. I would have been very angry if you had not. <laughs> not gonna lie, that that would be a very big spoiler. So thank you for, for not. <laughs> I see, an interesting hypothesis. Our memories did seem to alter the characters in those movies we've been investigating. More importantly, Ikari-san's movies seemed deeply reflective of her own mindset and perspective. So, similarly, the special screenings reflect our own consciousness? Right, like wanting to get closer to everyone, or maybe wanting to get stronger. Yeah, now the question is a catchy get logy. All will be revealed when he levels up. <laughs> if he wished for all those things hard enough, then maybe they became movies? Well... I did save after the fight. Well, <laughs> 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 catchy was on screen, so it's understandable. <laughs> Okay, I will save after this. <laughs> that may be true. It would explain why we learned that unison skill. Tons of my wishes came true, too! I wanted to get to know everybody better, and that came true. Now we're all friends, aren't we? Uh. I've learned anything. It's that you can make any wish come true if you hold on to it with all your heart. You're telling me our thoughts can turn into movies? <laughs> I can't take it anymore. I want a movie where I'm the star, with hot babes and a car chase and explosions! Ugh, we get enough of your delusions already. I don't need a personal ticket to them. 
Well, the end of the game. In any case, it is clear you have all grown tremendously in this world of movies. I believe freedom is already within your grasp. Keep striving, and I am sure you will succeed. Thanks. Yay. Oh, you need not thank me. You have come this far almost entirely under your own power. I apologize for not mentioning it until now, but I also have a reward for you. Please use it well. Lucky now I shall be on my way. Let us meet again at the box office. And then it happened- No! Okay, I was about to say, and then it happened again. <laughs> <laughs> he just leveled up during it. Hello, Susanoo. Kunai dance. Oh, hell yeah. Wait! <laughs> no, okay, yeah, I didn't think so. Robin Hood retained its form, but because become more powerful. Yeah, that makes sense. I understand. And now he's just Null's Light and isn't weak to anything. Awesome. Detective's ban? Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah, wait, actually, what? Medium chance. Wow, that's great. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> oh my god, 24? That's huge! Anyway, I'm gonna say it again. Yeah, I didn't think- I didn't think they would reveal their hand. They did it in Q1 where the characters who <coughs> either didn't need to have their personas evolve or had unfortunate things occur to them that kept them from evolving had their personas retain their... Yeah. Now, that doesn't mean I've gotten all the tickets, because there are still some that were missing, right? Yeah, we're missing 40 and 41. So there's still two more, but we have all of the special ones. And for it, we are stronger. Which puts the perspective of maybe I can dual wield P3 Pro Tags. Messiah being weak to curse is so fucking annoying. <laughs> Being resistant to most things is, um, kind of cracked, kind of insane. I wish they kept Orpheus Tello's superiority and made him resist everything like he does in Persona 3. <laughs> Where he's just like, yeah, I, I never knew what psychokinesis or nuclear as an element wa were, as elements were, but I still resist them. <laughs> It makes sense. They don't want to make him too strong. Meanwhile, game probably gets a lot easier on Risky once you unlock Saint Nail. <laughs> She needs to level up, and then Eo will be Isis, which will be perfect. And then Caster will get stronger. He's actually really close. But now I also have Izanagi no Okami. We could possibly mess around with some stuff. I do still need a healer, unless I end up delegating somebody via sub-personas as being a healer. So just having all the protagonists now is more of a reality since, you know, um, Zebi and Beezy don't have the same persona but different typing. <laughs> 
they now have very different personas. But still, Robin Hood retained his form. I wonder why. Wait and see. <laughs> he has no weakness, but he resists light, or is null. He nulls light. He nulls light. Still sucks though as a support character since he doesn't heal. So weird. Very bizarre. But now. Real quick. Yeah, I'm missing some stuff on this floor. I think I'll enter on the third floor and then go back up the stairs. And we all know why. Yep. <laughs> it's not a mystery. <laughs> but now it's like, yeah, there's really nothing stopping me from doing what I want. It's kind of amazing. Now, how do I get across? Oh, like this. Wow. Right, I need to turn the fan off. Where is the switch? Where is... Oh, actually, no, literally. Where is the switch? Oh god, there's one that's up there and so far away. Oh no, there's a shortcut there. Well, no, because I'm stuck over here. That's right. Okay. Oh, no, then I can just get back over here. Tava could make a remote control. I don't want her to. Yeah. The only parts that I haven't explored are this area that has an FOE in front of it. <laughs> I do not want to be in a fight. Like, at all, actually. <laughs> Right? This is debris. This is indeed debris. Thank you, Snake Lair. I can't afford to fight this one either, thinking about it. Okay, this is good. But yeah, we have the... We have the evolved persona. I slipped through the... No! Oh! Made it back to his little spot, and now we won't cross paths with him because there's a shortcut to not deal with him. Yeah. 
Alright. I will fight this Every theater is a different person. Yes. Oh my god! Well, it is dying for me. Yep. <laughs> Effortless uh, style. All right. Okay, so it just means it, no matter what his moves add. Hmm. I wonder if he shouldn't be the vengeful smash guy. But at the same time, his whole system, I don't think, I don't think he needs his thing, because he doesn't act, I'm not using him in that way. Oh, sorry, buddy. Most of his moves, well, if I had given that, but yeah, I think instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to get revenge. Smash, because I don't think he needs that one. His whole system is blocking, yes, but somehow I get the feeling. I mean, what was I to replace other than Vengeful Smash? And he's probably gonna learn a, he a heavy form. But maybe he isn't. Hmm. I have an idea. I did save before I exited this fight. I think I will give it to him. I'll get rid of Vengeful Smash and I'll let him have it. It does mean I have to redo all this, but... Because the only reason why I didn't let him keep his first form is that it wasn't guaranteed that it would do. But if he's not set up in the... Counter-attack style when he gets hit after a turn. Then this, then you know, it could work. That is the thought process, at least. Ice. So are many people trying the same movie since the same posters are everywhere? I guess just try try doing dive for me. It's dive for me. And ailment arts, I think, because this game is categorized. Yeah, I think ailment arts plus is the inferior reach of this game. Yeah, I'm gonna let him have it. I'm gonna get rid of his counter attack. Because I don't think he... I don't think I'm gonna have him set up like that anymore. Because if I... My choices are Endure or Regenerate too, which I don't think I'm gonna get rid of Regenerate. But if I, like, say I removed Death Bell, Black Spot does a lot of damage, and if he's... And if it guarantees that Black Spot splashes, it's not bad. Not a bad idea. <laughs> Get that atlas is gonna isn't gonna make every single poster me but in the universe itself. They may be playing really similar movies. But they're like attuned to that individual's 
insecurities or past, maybe? Or this is just this is just a collection of and Lil's favorite movies. Is the gold chest? Ah, oh, it's near the stairs. No need for him to use effortless style right this instant. But once he learns, once he learns his move at level 61, then it becomes a bit dangerous. Because Deathbound doesn't really have very high. It seems that all attacks, area all attacks, have low accuracy. But it sounds like effortless style has the accuracy of a single hitting, but it adds splash. That's like the theory behind why I, I do want to see if that'll be work. I'm surprised he has the HP to do another. Genistic Land 2 separate times. Man, even with uh, the Healing Hands many around <laughs> It doesn't restore enough of Shinji's HP because he's so dang strong. No! <laughs> it only removes the bonds, but what if I do this? <laughs> Hello, Feta. Yes, more noted. No. Very yes, good. We just got some. We just unlocked Persona Evolutions. People are getting strong now. <laughs> we've also just cut, yeah, but we've also discovered that a catching hates is. 
is crashing less. That is undeniable. But yeah, we have safe mail. <laughs> And this game has established that Saitanel is the strongest based on resistances. Ah, uh, alright. And you decided no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Orpheus Telos. They gave Orpheus Telos to male protag in order to set him further apart from female Persona 3 protag. I am gonna see. So I have to draw the map. A different rare shadow, and it's weak to a different thing. Uh. Yes. How does he say Orpheus Tellos? I know in three. He just says Orpheus. Which, you know, that is easier. Orpheus. Orpheus. <laughs> Yeah, I think the only thing with Hikari is that she doesn't have any status on the curative. But Ryuse has purifying rain. Or her sub persona has purifying rain. I wonder if that's an inheritable. I may give that to her. Aha! He resists like you fool. Oh yeah, she said. How was that? I think Harley is going to kill it. No, Shinji! He didn't level up this time. Hello again, Nebiros. Right at the end. Juno! Hello, Juno. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Cool. Hello, Juno. Let me make sure. Yeah. It's good. You liked it? Nice. Oh, wrong person. Uh, we are. Oh. 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 O
What's in this? Uh, okay. Something that's really good for healers, if you remember, it's a menu to take it off every time you're about to enter a fight. <laughs> sell some stuff. In we go. Block three. Actually exploring it this time. Not just entering on it. <laughs> that scared me. One percent was that room. that it pushes us around. So what we want to do is turn on shields and stuff like that to uh, turn the wind off. Hi! <laughs> Does send us flying. <laughs> All right, Zeta, enjoy your lurk. This is a strange creature, and what does it weak to? Hard to test by smacking it with stuff.
probably can fire. Uh, he dodged that, so I'm assuming he is. Okay, Is he going? Oh, he's still trying to get to us. Oh my god. Thank you, Yukari.
Okay, need to run again. That's not great. I know, I'm running, but... The FOE still move in the overall. So it's like, I can't really afford to find anything even if I wanted to. Oh, this is a door. That is not what I wanted to do. through this door. <laughs> oh, <he's so> <laughs> but now he's the aggro, so I can explore this north side. Enough to where there is... I hear the sounds of wind. This is 14%? Okay, this room is either really small or it's ginormous. I mean, this room, this floor. It's like either very vertical. They're here for revenge. Psychokinesis is less. Oh. 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 O
Good thing we have this. I didn't tell us anything about its weakness, but that's fine. <laughs> Hello, Jim. Welcome back. Perfect. So weak to electricity, hence why she has the electrical pot. Oh, yeah, we can go this way, so this area is larger. My best bet will be Sacrifice Fusions, though. Mario skin kit, that's true. She did level up, but I'm sorry, did not evolve. Yeah. Okay, we didn't learn what we to do. We have to test Wind, Noon, Psy, and Bless. I don't have any Psy to Hopefully, it's not bad. Oh yeah, I should have switched. Needed to do this anyway. Okay, let's see. Four. Maybe we have already worked on. Give him Mish Mi Mishiguji regardless anyway if I wanted to, but I don't think I will. I need to work on Srosha. May as well. What would it even be? There have been a number of suggestions of what it could possibly be. 
some of them just for fun and some of them to be symbolic. And that's kind of where it comes into play of like, how on earth? What would it even be? It's weird how they didn't- I guess because Q already did the whole speech of, I don't really want my persona to change. If Shinjiro's persona actually, like, if he lived and didn't go into a coma and his persona evolved, what would it evolve into? Rather than just being a more powerful form. Uh, Neko Shunk! I'm in a hurry now. Hang up. Evolutions took it and threw that right out the window. You're not wrong. You're definitely not wrong. I think the only ones that still have some level of like symbolism to game events is Trismegistus. And really only Trismegistus. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen Helios, Dullahan, some once somebody was like maybe Poseidon and they gave like a number of reasons as to like what it would look like and why. And I'm like, those are cool, I guess. I'm trapped in hell. Oh finally, a different enemy. Curse. Don't know. Do not know. I mean, it's fun to theorize. And yeah, it's true. They did. They did kind of intend. Kind of don't really. They give a lot of room for the imagination. Yes. Nice. We've had a Helios before three, and it was a bipedal cat. Yeah, no, the one that was described and drawn was like. The actual Helios, you know, the one with the chariot. <laughs> not the not the bipedal cat man. <laughs> but it wouldn't be the first time, because we've already had uh Susano as well. We've had several. Uh we've had multiple uh We've had two Hermes, right? Oh. 
Fuck, we're just gonna come thinking when trying aliens. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, ew. There's transparency on Isis's artwork, so you can see Yukari through it. Oh, fuck you, game. God damn it. It's a new enemy and it doesn't mean anything. Still, we're trapped. Alright, I'll save in the middle of this fight then. Damn. I just remember Forest of Sonos. Yeah. We have two Hermes. Yeah. We haven't had too many duplicates. That is true. But duplicates have happened. Meaning it's not impossible. Oh yeah, we have two Prometheus. It's not impossible. But yeah. Would he even want it to change? I don't know. That's like the whole fear with remaking the game. How much would be... How much would be kept the same and how much would just be like... Yeah, no. The dice are dead. One of those when you just get the ghostly ball. Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna just save because this is the farthest I've gotten into a fight. <laughs> And that's why. <laughs> oh no, don't tell me. What if I make him do something else? Yeah, no, this is a dead one. Like, I don't think there's anything he can do. Like, if I make him guard, will, I, will it save me or will somebody else? Oh, no, yeah, it was just him. What the fuck? Oh. Really? Yeah, no, something's wrong. No, I think the entire, like, I saved right as it had already done. When I make a save state, either when the game is already freaking out or when it's about to freak out, there's nothing I can do. It will freak out. <laughs> That's kind of what... That's kind of the situation. I know not why, just that it is. Welcome back, Feta. Oh no, 
but it's been two hours. Ah! <laughs> Oh, but he's gonna crit. Beautiful. Oh, darn. <laughs> I made it out of the fight, oh my god. I'm free! And perfect timing, because it is break time. I'll be back in a little bit. I will. Don't worry, I'll pause the emulator. You don't have to hear this endlessly. Although this one's kind of more of a relaxed. Yes. Apparently it is very good. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I will return in a little bit. Ah. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah, rivers in the desert. Fan, oh my god, ah. another save state. I don't like losing map data progress. I hear a fan elsewhere. Ah. Damn it. A dead end. You see your biggest fan? I don't know. I don't think so, though. Man, I knew we were supposed to take it- take that right turn back there. Ugh, backtracking is such a pain. Bit complaining, Skull. What's wrong with taking the scenic route? Yeah, whenever you get lost in the city, you always find some new shop you never noticed before. And something similar might happen with the movies, I suppose. What we first perceive as an unnecessary detour may lead to something useful. Yeah, like fully filling out the map means I open that golden chest that nets us cool shit. And the extra travel gives us an opportunity to gain more combat experience. So it's not all bad. Right. I guess we'd never have gotten this far without a couple round turns along the way. Better turn around anyway. Let's go, Joker. Okay. Thank you, Snake Glare! Ice, curse, electricity. Oh, 
Of course. The Platinum Dice always choose violence via self-explosion. says Mother Harley. Nice. Brain shape. Okay. Unfortunate. Making progress would be impossible in, the, in this emulator without save states. I also think that the enemies, maybe not always, but there's like, I don't think it's as random. We can't see the HP bar. Yeah, maybe. He's not going to use death now. I think the song and the enemies are picked. Like, at a certain point. 
and it's basically almost always gonna be that once it's been picked. Because when I was stuck in that loop, it was one set of enemies for a while, but it did switch. But the song that was to play did it was always the same song. I think. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. A waste of Vorpal Blade is what that was. And then ZB said, or and then BZ said, but what if I quit? <laughs> Thank you, BZ. There's Idle Hands. I say him. Okay. Mazaharoto. Yeah, that's why I was like, yeah, it sounds very different. <laughs> that is not where that, <laughs> where I meant to put that, but okay. Oh, uh, switch. Boop. I wonder what that will impact, I say. As if I'm not already aware. So that one's blowing, which means I'm gonna get pushed to the other side. Yeah. Am I gonna use it? Yes. Hello, Sibley.
Shall we open it? Yes. dead end. Why don't we use this to take a break? Agreed. I've been walking around and looking at all these movie posters for so long, my neck's starting to hurt. Me too. It's hard not to look at them all when there's so many. Yeah. What kind of movies do you all usually watch? Have you seen anything recently? My partner and I saw this movie called The Lone of the Ring. That was pretty fun. The plot was insane, though. It was about these guys risking their lives in order to pay for their engagement rings. But it was good. It even inspired me to be more courageous. So, and let's see. The romance movie I saw recently was fairly interesting. A romance movie? You? No. What? What's wrong with that? It's not that odd for me to watch something romantic, is it? It's not so much as odd as it is hard to imagine weren't interested in stuff like that before. Really, they're surprisingly entertaining. People who are slaves to love often let their emotions get the better of them and make irrational decisions. But there's much I don't understand. I'm sorry, there's much I don't understand, but watching people I'm nothing like is quite fun. That's one way to look at it. <laughs> I think the fact someone can enjoy them in that way is one of the things that makes them so great. Movies allow you to experience things that you sometimes can't, and get a glimpse of someone else's values. Depending on how you watch it, there's lots of different ways to enjoy a movie. I see. It's true that it's important to learn about values and worlds different from our own. Well then, would you like to watch one with me, Akihiko-senpai? I know the perfect romance movie. Nah, that'd be impossible for Aki. I bet he'd fall asleep. What? That's not... Well, maybe you're right. <laughs> I thought as much. Well then, let's wrap up our little check. We need to keep going. Please stop flirting with Akihiko! She just wants to invite him to one because he, because he seemed interested. No, Val. Oops, that's probably not right. What are these things right now? Oh, we don't know. Try wind. Ugh, unless. Do I have that? Of course not. How much damage does that do? Lone of the Rings, yeah. <laughs> no dice. Oh, well, that's it. Ha! <laughs> Oh, he's gonna crit. Amazing. I mean, I did use the move that makes him crit more. It 
just missed a bunch. Probably because of the Master Kakaja, but I'm still annoyed. Dead. Nice. Kari chan is doing well. Noted. to do the other thing. I meant to do beast summon. Luckily, I'm pretty sure they're dead either way. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, it's probably something like this, right? Yep. Did what it was supposed to. There's probably another switch somewhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep, sure enough, there it is. Oi, are switch, Janeva? That is indeed a switch. And whoops. <laughs> Oh, right, I was supposed to take the thing off. Well, I don't think they know any lightning, so this is fine. Have to rely on Revolt Vanguard. <laughs> Don't fall asleep. Thank you. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, they do some amount of damage, which sucks. Oh, <laughs> 
Man, I wish self-inflicted being knocked to low HP would activate Return from Yomi, because that'd be really funny. Yeah, it does. I mean, I can understand that she's saying Messiah. Kimiko! Kenzion! Encore has upgraded. True analysis is upgraded. Let's see, what does Encore do? Extend buffs by three additional turns. Party unlocks all affinity details. One enemy. Maybe it's cheaper. <laughs> Let me go. Uh. It's always so scary when it doesn't immediately change scenes. So it's like... Yeah, I thought so. That's a door. Hmm. Okay, so this is probably the edge of the map. Which means down that way probably, yeah, doesn't lead it. Oh, I didn't heal him because I loaded the game. Blah. There's lightning. Ooh, we really don't know. How much does true analysis have? Oh, it is. Yeah, that is what it did. Yeah, that would be nice. Even if it would be chaotic insanity, I would like that. I see. All right. That's fine. That's so scary. No. Why did it try? Why is it initiating self destruct? Oh, we already have three. So what's two and a half more? Exactly. Oh, the dice. 
Yeah, there they go. No return from Yobis? Damn. <laughs> No. Oh, she crit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh no, yeah, that's right. Shinji's just really tanky. He's got that much HP. <laughs> Alright. Do they still make Et Etrian Odyssey games? They do, but they don't really, like... Gosh, when was the last Etrian Odyssey? Because I know they make they still make the games. They had... At least I thought they did. Etrian Odyssey. Mm. Etrian Odyssey Nexus was... August 2nd, 2018. Yeah, last one was 2018 on 3DS. I don't know if they'll make another one. They're doing this weird thing where they're not sure what to... They're kind of not sure what to do with their already existing IPs that aren't Persona and Shin Megami Tensei. I mean, if Soul Hackers 2 was anything to go by, they're definitely experimenting with bringing them back, but... Soul Hackers 2 didn't really do well. Yes. Nice. I can drink it. Yeah. Not like Persona Shin Megami Tensei, anyway. Well, it's... <laughs> it's like the spoiled little brother... ...of the two. <laughs> Whoa, is that an FOE? Uh, yeah, it is, apparently. I kinda am afraid of it. Let's save. What a monster! It's really freaking me out! It's got quite the keen eye. It seems to be watching our every move. But it hasn't budged yet. Maybe you'll be able to just keep going without having to worry about it? Well, I suppose it'll be fine if it doesn't move, but... I definitely feel like it's out for blood here. Let's keep going, but be careful. Uh-huh. What if I left? <laughs> There's another one. And a treasure chest. Is that a good analogy? What persona is compared to Shin Megami Tensei? Okay, yeah, we learned that sweet curse. Um... I don't really know what you're doing. Sort of annoying. <laughs> it's not in here. 
inherently a bad thing. It's just, it, it fits, given the treatment. You know? If you see the intellectual properties of Atlas as if they are Atlas's children, Persona is the spoiled youngest sibling. Or a spoiled younger sibling. It's not the youngest, but... Yeah, it did- it is more popular than she can always It's- it- It's like you understand, but at the same time you wish. <laughs> you just wish. <laughs> Which series of theirs is the biggest cash cow? Hmm. <laughs> I don't think you have to wonder too hard. <laughs> Shin Megami Tensei, because a localization error on one of Persona 1's releases was called Shin Megami Tensei Persona. Not Revelations Persona. Every time somebody, every time you heard someone talk about Persona, they always bring up Shin Megami Tensei. Yeah, because they go hand in hand. Of all the spin-offs off of Shin Megami Tensei, Persona is simultaneously so unique its own thing, while still being traditionally a Shin Megami Tensei game. Like, other spinoffs for Shin Megami Tensei aren't quite the same as Persona, because they handle themselves in a different manner. It's hard to explain. I didn't need to do that, but I did it anyway. But in terms of, like, views... How many people want to watch something Persona-related as opposed to something Shin Megami Tensei-related? There's, there's a big difference. Hello, Moloch! Convenient. Yeah, that's true. Um, I guess Tokyo Mirage Sessions <laughs> that Fire Emblem Shin Megami Tensei quote unquote spinoff is also very similar to Persona, like incredibly similar to Persona. Moloch is physical, yeah. Looks like we're working on these guys, except I already have Curse, so I'm gonna hold off on that. Good cert. <laughs> Once Mother Harlot learns... I Sam, although I'm thinking about it. Alice still has to learn her thing, but I don't have... But a woman heart. And I'm running out of room. There are a lot. There are a lot. It's a testament to how much of a heavy hitter Persona is. That Persona has gotten to the point where people question whether it's even a spin-off or if it's just its own thing. Most of Atlas's IP consist of Shin Megami Tensei spin-offs. And so many of them haven't been touched in nigh decades. 
Like, I think if you look up Shin Megami Tensei, there is a category. Let's look at it together. So, Digital Devil Story Megami Tensei is considered the first Shin Megami Tensei game. Hello, Daves. The most recent game to release is that is considered a Shin Megami Tensei game is Soul Hackers 2. The category for spin-offs, this is Wikipedia, by the way, is Megami Tensei Gaiden, Majin Tensei, Devil Summoner, Persona, Digital Devil Saga, Devil Children, and Devil Survivor. So, yeah. <laughs> Even though Soul Hackers is considered the latest release, it doesn't say that the Soul Hackers series is a spin-off. It considers it part of the main series. I don't know why. Yeah, those are all those are all the spin-offs. And there are multiple like releases within those categories, obviously. Yeah, not as many as you think until you, until you think about how many games there are within them. Oops, wrong tab. Like Magami Tensei Gaiden? If I recall, yeah, Megami Tensei Gaiden Last Bible is only one game. Majin Tensei is a series of strategy video games. There are several. Um, but there aren't too many. But there are Majin Tensei, Majin Tensei 2, Spiral Nemesis, Ronde, Majin Tensei Blind Thinker, Majin Tensei Blind Thinker 2. So, you know, it's like, yeah... The spin-off is the list of spin-offs is not that big, but some of the spin-offs listed are a series of spin-offs, because Persona is in here. But yeah. They do make lots of games for the Shin Megami Tensei everything. Yeah, they they're more of a publisher than a developer. But they do have some of their own stuff. Oh wow, I sat there for so long, but the, the, the invisible timer before the thing stops working hit. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, she doesn't have the... Fuck, that's not good. 
She doesn't have the Alexio pot because I put the uh, other thing on her to try to give her more SP so I could stay in here for longer. <laughs> oh man, I wish I wish he hit more. Didn't even matter. Because I get the feeling it's going to be the same enemy. Wasn't. Oh well. <laughs> I still don't, I don't, you know, thinking about it, why is Source considered a mainline game and not a spin-off? Is it because it, the first one was called Shin Megami Tensei Soul Hackers? Instead of having its own name? <laughs> he does, in fact, say that in this song. <laughs> nice. You think it was called Devil Summoner Song? Then wouldn't it be part of the Devil Summoner series? Yeah. Wikipedia does say Devil Summoner in the spin off of us. I guess because Soul Hackers is a part of Devil Summoner. Right. Okay. I'm just thinking because I don't. I don't know. First game. Um. It's probably just something along the lines of since it was just called Soul Hackers. Or for whatever reason, whenever a new game comes out that's part of the SMT umbrella, it gets put there. But that's kind of odd. <laughs> Isn't it? Well, I guess maybe not. Nice. There we go! Sarsha has Makoga. I don't think it matters what else he has. Because either way, I'm probably gonna give him Moloch. Yeah. And then ever and then there's so many people who would argue against you that that's not what it was called. And it's like, why? 
I don't know. I remember some people- I remember there was a flame war in the comments of, like, all Persona intros or something like that before Royal was released. Of the, yeah, did you know it's- it's a lie? It was a dubbism that made it Shin Megami Tensei Persona. It was never called Shin Megami Tensei, and it's like... It doesn't matter. <laughs> It's still, for all intents and purposes, a Shin Megami Tensei spin-off. The shortcut that I probably can't use, right? Yep. Oops, wrong spot. <laughs> They're similar enough, indeed. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Some people say some. Some people <laughs> have opinions. And we respect those opinions, but they are still uh, just that. Opinions. <laughs> Although, spreading false information for the sake of, like, promoting your own opinion... Okay, so I have no other way to go but this way. I mean, it's technically not false, but it also is like... I don't know. I don't want to say- I don't want to say it's the Persona 5 people, but part of me fears that it's some of the Persona 5 people. That are like that. I don't think it's only them, though. I, I do think it's a little bit of everyone. Fans of every one of the series. For some reason, it's it's a subject that people get very defensive. False info, but it's not correct info, yeah. <laughs> Hello, just unknown. You recently started playing Q2? Nice! We're near the end of the game, sort of. <laughs> and I'm playing it on emulator, so you're probably having a more fun time than I am. I saved him here, right? I did. Uh, Moloch. Oh, oops. <laughs> Equipment. <laughs> it is pretty catchy. I had fun when Orpheus Tellos showed up, don't lie. I don't auto map. Because I like color coding all the things. Bye. Oh. 
Oh, there we go. Do I like PQ or PQ2 more? Uh, mechanically, other than like a few things, two, I like two mechanically more. I, I like the styles, um, combined with, uh, the rose better than the weapon stuff, like, Bash, Bash slash Pierce, or whatever the fuck it was called. Um, the weapon triangle, I guess. <laughs> I like the- I like defense physical support more. It's questionable, some of the people that fall under support <coughs> catchy. Cause it kind of- he makes- it makes characters like that very situational. But they are... They are fun to play. Like, team synergies in Q1 had... were a bit, prob like, troublesome. Like, I don't think there is a single syner team synergy you can make with Kormaru. And then, I know, big example that counteracts, um... That counteracts everything of my everyone but Ziku is from Persona 3. A lot of the team synergies were with people from their own groups. So Akihiko Shinjiro was inseparable and overpowered in Q1. But in this one, Shinji doesn't need Akihiko and Akihiko doesn't need Shinjiro. Uh, they can work separately because Shinjiro being a defense type means that he has a skill set that is centered around defending the party rather than having, like, just being the guy that tanks, hits, and deals mad damage while Akihiko buffs the shit out of him in order to make him even more overpowered. <laughs> yeah, Q1's- Q1, one of the best synergies is Akihiko has a million and one buff moves. And then maybe death counter. And then he just gives all those moves to Shinjiro so he can hit as hard as he possibly can. <laughs> it works really well. <laughs> Better than you think. You have a catchy in your front row. I hope you get more usage out of him than I found. Cause I was struggling. <laughs> I was struggling for finding to finding a purpose in using him. And yeah, um He's technically one of the stronger involved personas. Yeah, Q1 character interactions and the story I think for Q1 was better. But I also appreciate greatly that Q2 didn't try to have the same plot as Q1. If Hikari was secretly dead, I was going to be so mad. I'm so glad she isn't. <laughs> it wouldn't make any sense to make a, a sequel to Q1 and make it just be the same plot as the first Q. <laughs> It'd be horrible. <laughs> It'd be a very, very bad move on their part. But that is not the case, so it all is good. But yeah, I, I definitely am more invested in the story for Q1 than I am for Q2. <laughs> but mechanically, Q2 is so much better. So much nicer. Being able to change party- all five party members. Weird. Mm. 
saving again afterwards, even twice. Wow, that's bizarre. Although there are a couple of things in the little divided on. One such thing is... I appreciate divvying up um, male and female Persona 3 protagonists. Um, strengths and weaknesses by giving them different evolved personas. That's a nice touch. Um, however, Makoto Strong. <laughs> they gave him all the best shit. <laughs> and BZ took what was left. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds not fun. Uh, I need you to heal again, Yukari. Yeah, she does she does do good enough. I guess you can have that. Fire Link, you had that in Q1. Uh I don't need it anymore. I'm magic type. Here you go, female counterpart of mine. You resist light. How did you die? What? Nobody had anything to say about that. At least I look cuter than you. At least I'm not dead. I'm sorry. You resist light. Yes, you do. Why did you die? <laughs> Alright. Well. Recarm healed you for full because Yukari is overpowered. We'll save again, thank you. <laughs> Alright, this FOE that doesn't move. Oh! Now? <laughs> it moved? Whoa there, folks! That thing's copying your movement. It's mirroring us. Huh? What do you mean, copy? It's doing the opposite of us. Yeah. Well, actually, that's not true. It's not mirroring. That would be bad if it were. The point of view has been reversed, not the direction. For example, if it faces us, and we move to the right... Oh, I see! It'll look like it moved left! Uh... I don't get all this right means left stuff, but as long as we're careful, we'll be fine, right? Uh, indeed. All we must do is consider its movement as we proceed onward. You have the lead, Joker. Thanks. fun. They're all silent protagonists without personalities. Kind of. There's always a third option, and the third option, based on, like, the animated series' interpretations of those, ends up being the quote-unquote personality. Meaning, Makoto is I don't care, or ellipses. Yu Narukami is, I'm gonna say something really strange and out of pocket with the most serious expression ever. And, uh, Ren is to be a jerk. <laughs> I hate. Yeah. <laughs> I had a feeling. Oh no, I saved on a dead one. Fuck me. Okay, give me a second. What is the newest slot? 
choice. No, the personality is I don't care, remember? Why? Uh, I mean, yeah. I like him well enough. But it is true that they kind of for Cotone Cotone, um they gave her a lot more to work with in terms of like the potential protag personality. Who cares? Tell me. <laughs> Something to that effect. I can't go forward down here, so I'm gonna go down here first. <laughs> yeah. A oh, new enemy that I don't know the weakness to. Actually, never mind. It's either electricity. New Yorker Psy, which sucks. I'm gonna see if Yukari will kill it with Dai for me. Not the thing I wanna attack. First. A gender equality pack? What does that mean? <laughs> That's kind of what I'm saying. Like, what does that mean? Is there, like, problematic dialogue in that game? That they, like, remove or something? Oh my god, how are you alive? The official name. Oh. <laughs> That's not. I mean, unless they don't have any difference other than that. Yeah, Mi Minato, Minato, and Minako. Minato was Makoto's name for a little bit. It's the same thing with Akira versus Ren. I has like it, every single main character has this. Who, what's their official name? Tango. Rant. Um. Minato Makoto. Minako Kotone. Hamuko is one. Um. Soji. Uh, as opposed to you, Narukami, set to Soji instead of you, Narukami. And then we had Akira Kurusu versus Ren Amamiya. And, uh, they chose which one was canon. That does not stop people. That does not. It really doesn't. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but yes. So that didn't work. <laughs> Darn. Yeah, Random Mommy is the one that they chose to be canon. I don't even know where the other- I don't even know where, like, the, the supposed ones float around. I think it has something to do with, like, for a brief period of time. That's what it is. 
Yeah, unless there's a, def a default option that fills the name you don't really care. Because in the original Final Fantasy VII, you could name your entire party whatever the fuck you wanted, but there was a default name. <laughs> Makoto is a gender neutral name. It can be, or I guess a unisex name is the is how it's typically stated. Because there's other there's other forms of media that have Makotos that are male or female depending. Makoto Nanaya from Blaze Blue is a girl, but Makoto Nayagi from Danganronpa is a boy. <laughs> And there are lots of names like that. Akane is another one that's like that. It's I've read manga like in Soul Eater. There's a there one of the uh, Death Scythe Meisters that doesn't show up in the anime is named Akane, but Akane in the Zero Escape series is a woman. And names and dancing games don't matter. <laughs> it really just all depends. Pick one you want. Unless it's- because even if it's officially stated anywhere, if you can name your- uh oh. If you can name your protagonist, most people will name their protagonist whatever they want. <laughs> Turn from Yomi, thank you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> A good start is to do that. Nice! Thank you, Return from Yomi. Do it again! No. He didn't. She has a few recarms in her yet. You, come back. He won't be <laughs> Um... The first time we played Persona 5, Fist named the protagonist Big Fish Old Guy. And everyone everyone called him Old Guy, and it was great. <laughs> I'm you, you're me. I have wakened from your soul, I can miss you. I'm epic. <laughs> you can afford to use a Meteorama. Uh... It's slower than Shinji somehow, so or at least Shinji's attempts at an all guard. Ow! <laughs> hey! Gonna all guard. There we go. <laughs> oh, nice. How do you feel?
I think it's time to say goodbye to Regen 1. I manufactured him to have this skill, but Broadshot is very strong. This is against Bro character Graham. We do be struggling a bit. No, it's not what it meant. Yeah, the wind is too strong. Switch. How convenient. Yep. Was it the scripted angel? images of Kiwi. <laughs> it was not scripted. Okay. I know there's a handful of scripted fights that involve fighting a variety of angels. <laughs> Your week two, so that kind of sucks. I want one of you is week two, though. I thought the main sentinel was weak because. Is it weak to bless? Oh no. One of them is weak to curse, the other one is not. I would like to know what you're weak to. I bet it's blessed. Reminds you of the new Yusuke one shot himself versus all lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still gonna try it. Never mind. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> it is an alien. They're not wrong. <laughs> it is. Controlling a pixie, one demon doing that acts of Netherlands. Yeah. <laughs> hey, at least it's not Shimigami Tensei 4. 
Uh, last night was at the end of DMC4. Yes. I had beaten the game. I had restored the save that I had that had all the fun stuff on it. And I said if I come back to this, it'll be messing around with harder difficulties. Probably with Lady and Trish. Because I gushed about how much fun it is to play as Lady and Trish. <laughs> Welcome back, Florida. Oh, I'm almost out of inventory space. And all of now she's Steven's in death. <laughs> yep. Hey, it's still better than what it could be. Did you? I think somebody is sub-expired. <laughs> I want to find the meme. Not, not that one. This one. No, not. I want the one. It's hard to find it. There it is! <laughs> Open image and new tab. Let me zoom in on this. This is on Tumblr, but I love this meme. It fits the tutorial fight. The first boss you face in four really well. Hits the nail right on the head. That's my favorite Shin Megami Tensei related meme. It embodies, it embodies everything that could possibly have happened in the fight. Smirking Minotaur. Yeah, the smirk mechanic. Okay, so in Shin Megami Tensei for Apocalypse, or if, if you're uh, looking at the localized version, is a spin-off series to the mainline our spin-off episode, I guess, to the mainline Shin Megami Tensei 4. Shin Megami Tensei 4 has an infamously difficult tutorial segment because you start off at level 1 in an area with enemies that are level 2 and 3 or higher. Um and you unlike in Apocalypse can't choose who your uh, assistant helper person is. So in Apocalypse, you start off with Asahi, but when you get the others in your party, you choose before uh, all of your fights, you choose in the menu who you want it to be. So Asahi or Hallelujah or Nozomi or so on and so forth. In four, it's random. And that Minotaur fight is a mandatory fight but because your support person is random, it can randomly be Walter. And Walter only knows physical attacks. And because the Minotaur resists all physical attacks, he just gives the Minotaur free smirks and he can one and done you at the start of the fight. So that's the joke. If you hear Behold My Demons, when you start the Minotaur fight, you may as well reset because you are not winning. <laughs>
<laughs> it's great. It's not, but it's funny. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't gotten into the fight yet. What is going? There we go. <laughs> oh, I don't want to fight this. I don't want to fight this at all. <laughs> uh, but I will. Oh, not Fire Screen. Although Fire Screen would be nice, most people have resisted everything already. But yeah. Try. Yeah. The combat for 4 and 4 Apocalypse by extension is actually really fun and interesting. Um, but... I feel like that's sarcastic. <laughs> no, it is the hardest. It is one of the, if not the hardest, tutorial section in any game Atlas, I think, has ever released. People say the starting segment of Soul Hackers 2 is pretty unforgiving, but I don't know. It's just. It's rough. <laughs> oh, that one's weak to Narku Narc is a mess. An absolute mess. I tried die for me and it didn't work, and now I'm paying for it. This could be bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Which one from Yomi? Yeah! <laughs> oh, he didn't endure that! <laughs> Um, he doesn't even have enough for a thing. Damn. This is bad. Uh, yeah. Bye for me. It didn't work. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. I'm going to have her use what little SP she has on a recon. Yes, yes it is. Unless you put it on your messiah like I did. <laughs> well, at least on my first playthrough, I put it on messiah the first time I played it. No, my messiah now has Niflheim. And Ice Amp Boost. Heal yourself. Looks like we're kind of okay. Not really, but we'll probably beat this fight. Oh, nice crit on the broad shot. Ah, oh, why did it have to be him? Why did it have to be the one in the back? I was gonna hit it with Psycho Smash and Psycho Kinesis, so. Cool. Why? I 
guess because it's a pain to remove stuff. You showed him Shinjiro song? Yeah. <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> oh, wait. You can see if it's weak to Psychic Nature, too. Oh my god. No, nope, it resists Psychic Nature. So sad. Hailstorm. Do I want that? No. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that? I've seen that fan art. Yeah. It's all the big tough guys. You recently started playing Persona 3 Fest? Well, I hope you enjoy it. Have fun. Because apparently your car is not strong enough as the inhaler. I feel like hell. Can we take a break? No. That's what the sovereign pin is for. Duh. Your car need to find my way to a shortcut. Because I think I can't get past this unless I press a bunch of buttons. Yeah, I don't want to go through all this nonsense. Almost out of inventory space. <laughs> ah! Erase that. I don't need that there. You have the thing, right? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I'm glad you're back. I hope the neck is okay. healing, if it not already healed. Oh, ow. Well, I'm glad you didn't break it. Or anything else, really. If I move forward, he's going to... Oh, I have to get him to do my... Hmm. I'm gonna have to outmaneuver this guy. Ooh, this is strange. Ah, there we go. Bruised. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, if you study too many days in a row, you get sick. Yeah, that's a uniquely Persona 3 Fez thing, I think. You can play the roulette on if using the restroom at the school or the dorm will help. You can also try, um, it also boosts your courage going to the nurse's office, um, to try his, 
special medicine. It doesn't always work, though. Ooh, growth incense. I can give that to somebody. I'm killing this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Being able to equip whatever you want. Uh. the hammers and axes mostly because you know after october it's kind of like why do i have the ability to buy better stuff <laughs> um you can save wherever you want and change the difficulty whenever instead of being locked in those were things that they added if i recall Jumpy, put them in... Where did you... Where did you upload that? Oh, it was in gaming, right? Yeah. It's gonna be 14 probably $15. Yeah, we can change the difficulty at any time, and you can save wherever you want. Like in uh, Persona 5. Both 4 and 3 will have that feature, specifically. Three will have four golden onwards feature of being able to change the difficulty and probably make some form of a custom difficulty. Yeah. The Japanese prices were announced, which was roughly, it's roughly translates to $14. I'm assuming they're gonna push it up to $15 or $14.99 or something like that. But yeah. I knew they weren't going to be that expensive. It would have been suicide for the project to do that. It's not a good idea <laughs> to make them very expensive. Yeah, golden, golden was 20. Oh, there it goes. So long as we can destroy them. It is knocked down, so it can't attack. I think the dice are dead. Yep. And he is gone. No, she doesn't have any abilities. That's fine. Free Medirama! was first announced while I was playing Q1. Somebody picked it for some reason. Um, I was like, yeah, no. They're not gonna be $60. The game's releases would be dead in the water if it was... If they made them 60 for the... Xbox ports and all that. It wouldn't work. It'd be very dumb of them. Well, isn't... Well, 
This is Square Enix we're talking about. <laughs> that sounds mean, but... If I want you there. We'll use this shortcut, though. Hmm. Yeah, and, uh, like, 2015, whatever it is. I mean, in terms of, like, it being translated. The value of the Japanese yen is kind of fucked right now, so it makes sense that it'll be 20, not $15. It was just a theory brought on based on converting yen to USD. I never switched your sensory shit. Well, I will save, though. Still no shortcut. Which is really awkward. Down there is the... that means that that chest, I'm assuming this is the chest, is actually the gold chest. <sighs> I'll go this way first, though. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start running from stuff. I'm full on items. I see. That's very ominous. But I think that was a Citra moment. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, 76%. I'm gonna run, though. I'm still gonna run. <laughs> Let's go, Citra. <laughs> yeah, just Citra things. I want to find a persona that has. Is your inventory starting to weigh you down? Maybe. <laughs> it's not Citra itself, it's just this emulation. Oh, the wind blows that way. I don't know if I want to. And there's no block for it, so... It's probably something like this. This particular it hasn't been tested before so it's kind of jank <laughs> oh my god well i found a power spot i don't think i'm going to investigate it Yeah, it's been better. It's been a bit better behaved, but it hasn't gone back to the way it was. <laughs> so I'm making a lot of... Yep. <laughs> Not anymore.
does Shinji have over 700 HP? Uh, not. Oh yeah, he does. <laughs> Holy guacamole! Yeah, he's a defense type. He has this ability called All Guard. So if he's to tank the hits from everyone, or everyone rather. It's probably in his best interest to be somewhat stacked in the HP department. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, in Q1, you're charged for healing. Meanwhile, Q2 is just like, nah, go back to the theater and it's a, it's a free health. And it's like, oh, well, thanks. I can't wait to go back to Q1 and do side four. Mm. Wait. Uh-oh. I saved this one because it was fine, though. What is my timer for when this borks? Can I save now? I can. Still gonna run, though. I need a shortcut close to the entrance before I can do anything. Or I can just find the stairs. That would also be a really cool thing that could happen. This is a door. Yeah, I've already played the Persona 3 side. Hence why... Oh my god. Why is it always when we comp- Why is it always when we try to be like, okay, it's behaving better than it, it's been in the past, that it decides to be a butt? Why is it only when we're like, oh yeah, it's, oh, it's not doing too bad, that it decides to be a little shit? <laughs> me oh yeah special screen because it hates speed <laughs> 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 Maybe it's well thatch. Magic charge. Are you sure that's not called mind charge? Or is that a translation thing? Either way, um How many wealth badges do I have? 15%. Oh, I don't need another one. I have lavish, lavish badges. I am not selling the, I'm not selling the Alexial pot, though.
I won't do the special screening yet. Shh, it's okay, on. I'll do it later. I kind of left some floor unfinished, <laughs> and I want to finish it. We'll do the ticket when I get to the next floor, okay? Sorry, Naoto. You're not coming. You're not invited. <laughs> You're not part of the plan or the other plan. Sorry. <laughs> Although I'm a little tight on Persona space right now. Oh yeah. I need to I might kill Zuz Zumeal. Zuzumil? I'm assuming is how they're gonna pronounce that. Um, I think I'm gonna kill it for Invig too. Huh? Yeah, Zuzumil. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna kill it for Invig too. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm gonna kill it for Invig too. <laughs> I didn't save before I went in here, did I? I mean, before I moved. <laughs> I saved before I entered, but I didn't make a, uh, a save state. So we gotta do... We gotta go to the title again. Oh, I just got a message. It also changed Arcana. In four, it's the ultimate priestess. Is it not priestess? It is break time. It is break time. But I need a... Yeah, it is well. Let me get inside the theater and well, Yosh. no, yeah. Let me get inside the theater and make a save state because if I pause the emulator, it's gonna freak out when I get back. Nice text, ladies and gentlemen. No need to run yourselves into the ground. Quest Codal? Yeah. Oh yeah, Quetzalcoatl did in fact change Arcana. It became Aeon in gold. Yeah, and then they were like, I don't remember what it is in 3 and 4 vanilla, but in Fez and uh, Golden, it's Aeon. Because those are the added Arcanas. But yes, I'm gonna take a break here. I will be back in a bit. Alright. Let's see if it broke. It didn't. Is it going to? <laughs> it's possible. Let me get to my destination. Game. Well, I got into a fight, but that's the word. Uh. 
don't like how part of Ice's head is transparent. That's so bizarre. <laughs> All the tech <laughs> varieties. Yeah. I have Nocturne on Steam. We'll see how it runs. I suspect it will be better. Oh wow, she is dying. Was Yukari targeted or something? <laughs> you saw PS4 version, but you think Steam is good? That's good. Probably kills some stuff, right? Some. You Mazion. Wait, I thought she had the. I didn't switch it. I didn't switch her to have Alexiel. I can't press anything. Nothing is working. Ooh. Did save before going in here. Thought it might be like that sometimes. Yes. I think we all are aware why Isis was held. Last time that happened to you, I was confused, but then I remembered later, and I was like, oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> Set of enemies. Let's go. What are you weak to back there? Might possibly also curse. That's just an orange that we can spam whenever it's such Um I'd have to make something like that, and then I'd have to uh, have it approved and play it. Yeah. I understand contextually why. I understand contextually, and that is why I approved it. But. <laughs> I'd probably put it on BTV. I don't think it's worth making like an emote that'll take up a slot, even if it's just a follower slot. Um, oh yeah, speaking of, some of my sub emotes are gonna be turned into follower emotes because Twitch just recently did a really cool thing in which if you subscribe to someone, you can use their follower emotes wherever. So it's a gateway to motivate people to sub- that's Goblin Cat. A follower emote. <laughs> because I did an art stream and Jumpy said, Make Goblin Head. 
and all yeah, he sounds and acts like a goblin in that game, so that's oh. he's goblin Ken. The poor boy didn't deserve the poor boy tried to kill one of my favorite characters. <laughs> Aside from the attempted murder. But yeah, it was mostly because of the way he sounds in the game. His voice actors... I felt her not for the work that she did, whoever she may be. But he sounds so weird. Yes, doing fake controlled yelling. It's actually oops, disturbingly easy to impersonate, like, the... My skill level has increased! Yeah, the audio balancing in 3 is not very... <laughs> I mean, it's old game. Some of them... Yeah, whisper shouting. That's kind of what it is. It really is kind of what it sounds like. Sort of. It's a little bit, but... <laughs> Am I gonna try this? Yes. Hit him with the die for me. <laughs> 2005 sound bounce, yeah. Wow. It missed. In its entirety, it missed. I miss you so much, Imperial <laughs> I miss you so much. Did it seriously dodge the... You know what? No. Death bound. And you know what? I poison them. The dice probably opened when it was activating self destruct, and I didn't notice. Oh, well, there goes <laughs> Zebby. You can start by doing that. Well, I I assume development for um 
Persona 4 was like immediately. So many recycled assets between the two of them. If they were being worked shortly after one another, if not at the almost the exact same time, I'll be surprised. Okay. That. Uh, I think we Another Yeah, they calmed down after that. I say that, but that's not... Really? How NIS was the sole one of the primary benefactors to keeping the Vita relevant to mainstream audiences. Or Vita, there were so many games on you, but before the Switch, you were the meme. Of it has no games. Even though that's not really true. It's been five years since Sonic Forest was released. Not surprised. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, can I stack the regen too? <laughs> Oh, I forgot to switch your persona off. Well, now I have more of a reason to do that. <laughs> Is there somebody lower on the list that I want to give? Continue to work on that one. Or I could work on Bugs or Sprousha, any of these ones down here, really. Probably do the Reedy. PlayStation 5 is like no exclusive. Yeah, because exclusivity is dumb. So I honestly don't mind that. I assume this is all dead end. For the most part considering the way the rest of the map aligns up. Yep. Okay, I am gonna save after all that. Week two, eight, Omni Bane doll. Yeah, I don't have the things for that. I do not like ads. Also, good stream. <laughs> Thank you, Jumpy, for serving with your prime. Enjoy your emotes.
for a pimp slash. No! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Jenna. But I bought it on Steam so I can have Virgil. <laughs> you know, just in case I decide I'm going to do that. Word it as if I'm not going to do that. Nice crit. If there's anything I've learned from the DMZ games, they're never that long. So, so long as you, you know, actually play it, <laughs> it shouldn't take you too long. Obviously, it depends on one's playstyle, if that actually will be the case, but... Those always tend to be the most expensive things. It's weak to fire? It's weak to fire! Okay! You've already seen this one in the stream. Sit down. And I guess die, tower. <laughs> AMC reboot after Psychonauts 2? Probably. Yeah, speaking of, I was thinking, oh, maybe I would do this for the rest of the week, but no. I think tomorrow is Psychonauts 2. And Saturday will be um, more Q2, Persona Q2, specifically. You know, just in case you're not sure. I don't think I'll let her have the Kunda, actually. Curse Amp. Oh. I think I'm winning. <laughs> That's <laughs> Okay. Ah, oh, the color changed on me because I reset. There we go. I can't wait to get to that game. I've heard so many things about it. It's such a divisive game. Some people are like, it's pretty good. And some people are like, it's really good. And some people are like, it sucks. What are you talking about? <laughs> it sounds like your experience is <laughs> That might not be a good thing though. I'm a little worried. 
Like, I don't think a hack and slash game should be overly complicated. But there's like, there's a complexity that one through four have that I really do like. And I've heard some stuff was like removed between the demo for it and the official release that was only a few weeks later. Yeah, series are a lot. I might have saved on a dead one. I saved on a dead one. Shit! Hey, which one's newest after that? Looks like... 32. So, before this. Fine with that. You changed colors, huh? Not bad. Thanks. Why are you complimenting me on that? That's weird. Yeah. It's just... Some people dislike it. Some people like it. I'm not sure where I will be, but I have trouble disliking things if I don't have expectations for said thing. I know there are people who have differing opinions on things. Lots of things. I really don't like Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. <laughs> but I think it's okay that there are people who do enjoy it. I'm just not one of those people. <laughs> okay. I would like to... Actually, I'll go down the stairs. It's block four. How has the Tales playing been going with heart? I'm having so much fun. It's the it's my favorite dynamic. Person who knows what's going on, and person who doesn't know what's going on at all. And I just get to sit there and be like, <laughs> he has no idea. <laughs> It's not as good as one, but he enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed it up until a certain point. I did not like the final two chapters, but I didn't mind Emil or Marta at all. I just really freaking did not like the final chapter. And all the extra content to get overpowered shit is dumb. Dumb and stupidly hard for no reason. What is Tales about? Um, Tales of is basically, well, it's a similar vein to any other long-running JRPG. Each single Tales of Blank is its own isolated event, unless something is specifically, like, stated, like, Tales of Symphonia, Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. They're obviously, Dawn of the New World is a direct sequel to Symphonia, Zillia and Zillia 2. Um, I guess in the sense of Berseria, it's a prequel to Zisteria, but in most cases, other than like some mild allusions to already other already existing games, um, each one is like an isolated world, story, and characters. And each one has very different themes. And yes, <laughs> action combat, gold and skits. <laughs> I find the series to be very fun. A lot of the, um... A lot of the newer ones have had some things about them that I'm not- I've not been too much of a fan of, but... There are still overall good games. I would never say I don't recommend a Tales of game that I've played. It's just, I understand that some of them are not for everyone. Like, I would say, like, Symphonia is better than Symphonia Dawn of the World and things like that. There are some things I don't like about Zillia 2. I don't like the visuals of some of the later 3D tales of games. I like Vesperia's very colorful 
like world and style. Whereas the um, I think after I think after Vesperia, pretty soon after Vesperia, it, I think it starts with it starts with Zillia. They do this art style. People called it outdated. I just don't think it's all that pretty. I, I hate, I, I don't hate, but I really don't like the model artwork from Zillia to Bursaria because it's too muted. I like the really colorful style of the 3D models of the characters in games before Zillia. You know. Trash is fixed. Also, hello, heart. Unfortunately, no, but they've been slightly less frequent. Although I'm thinking since I sat on this screen for a little bit, it's gonna do it again on me. Hey, how is everyone holding up? You feeling pooped yet? Come on, answer me. And I'm thieves. I want to play one of the Raido Kuzunoha games, aren't they? Some of them are available to me as classics on my PS3. I have to go on PSN on my PlayStation 3 and buy them, though. <laughs> Don't underestimate us. This is but <clears throat> It seems I've grown hungry. Oh, boy. No collapsing on us before we deal with any little got it. I'm definitely still good to go. How's everyone else doing? I'm fine. This is nothing for a phantom thief. How about you, Hikari? Mm, I'm okay, too. I used to walk around a lot while carrying a pretty heavy camera. Hmm, you know, Hikari, you've had a lot more pep in your step lately. Huh? W what do you mean? Remember when you told us about what kind of movies you're into? Ever since you said you like movies that give people hope, you've been totally different than, when than you were when we met. Well, what happened was, I finally remembered the dream ending I want to reach after putting it into words. Huh? What's your dream? Being a director? So, oh, that's right! Hikari-chan did say she's wanted to be a filmmaker ever since she was young. Mm -hmm. I've been shooting movies on my own ever since I was a kid because I wanted to become a director. Whoa! That's amazing! You shoot your own movies? It's nothing impressive. I just learned how by watching others do it. There's no need to be modest. While everyone may have a dream, taking real action to attain it isn't something just anyone can do. Huh. Indeed. So what sort of movie were you working on before arriving here? I... haven't filmed anything recently. I hit a roadblock, in a way. I lost sight of what I wanted to show everyone, and even of who I am. Kari, I remember now, thanks to meeting you guys, the movies that I've loved, and the movies that I've really wanted to make. That's why I'm thinking about picking back up where I left off. Let me star in the first movie. <laughs> hey, you know stealing the spotlight, pal. I'm gonna be the star here. An acting cat? That seems pretty rare. I am not an acting cat. I'll do it after I turn back into a human. Uh -huh. Oh dear. Let's not start getting ridiculous. More to the point, I think you're really ready to get out into the world and do this, Hikari-chan. Follow your dream. Arigato. Thank you, everyone. I also know my first movie is done. I want my dad to watch it. I'll definitely give him that screening invitation soon. For real this time. I see. I'm sure that you will. No. Hey, so does that invitation only apply to your dad? Huh? Well, we want to see your movie too, right? Can we please watch it too? <laughs> oh, pretty please? Or would that be asking too much? <laughs> yeah, he has to float. Same with Koromaru. Oh no, that's not true. I'd love for you all to watch it. Will... will you really come see my movie? 
Of course, I'm totally down. <laughs> Not just Skull, all the Phantom Thieves will be there. <laughs> I promise that I'll finish the movie, no matter what it takes. <laughs> well, for that to happen, we need to deal with this place first. Ah! Right. Let's take care of business here so Hikari can get back get to filming back home. Aww. How many floors do you think there are? The clock tower had eight in Q1, but like the first five or so were really, really small. <sighs> Please. This isn't Tartarus. <laughs> Where's the... There it is. How many floors does tartar sauce have? Um... Oh god, how many does it have? I've forgotten. I'm gonna save here. Because I suspect shenanigans will occur while I look this up. It's well over 200. I remember there's more than 200 floors. Oh wow, how many floors are in Tartarus is the first thing. 264, yeah. <laughs> many, many, many floors. But you know what? I think the game paces itself well enough that you don't even realize how many floors there are by the time you reach that point. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. Free heat razor. Yeah, it helps that they're not very large. That certainly makes it a bit easier. <laughs> the game faces itself by literally walking your path. I mean, think about it, though. It's the same as with Mementos. Mementos did the exact same thing. You couldn't get too deep unless you did a certain story segment, because it wouldn't be fun if you got all the way to the bottom of the game. Right? <laughs> My eyes were trained on that map. My familiarity with Persona 3 Fez is so much greater than that of any other Persona game I've ever played, and I've played most of them more than once. <laughs> oh. We'll do Mapsio. <laughs> oh, there goes the dice. Ow. I'm surprised Ziku lived. <laughs> hey! Return from Yomi! Oh my god, it's insane on him. What the fuck? He has so little HP that it basically restores him to full. <laughs> That's amazing! Some floors are bigger than others, that since it's kind of random what the layout of every floor will be, um, I think it's easier to not know where the fuck you're going in Monad. You can get lost in Monad really easily. Getting lost in Monad is scary. <laughs> That's because most things want to kill you. 
Meanwhile, I spent most of my playthrough on this thing that I do in Monad. Because I said, what if I got everyone to level 99? Because I'm level 99. Oh yeah, I also abused the split up mechanic. I abused the shit out of the split up mechanic. Especially since Fez fixed the thing that's from the original. Where they'll f equip whatever they find. It's so much easier to navigate the floors if you just let them find everything. <laughs> yeah, they still pocket the money, but... A fun fact about that game, the enemies of a floor aggro to you based on the level of your equipped primary persona. So if you have, say, a New Game Plus save, and you just pulled your level 99 Orpheus Telos and equipped it, if you send them to split up, nothing will try to kill them because you're the scariest thing on that floor. Which makes floor exploration so easy. It's so nice. Literally the only thing is that they, they'll pocket whatever money they find, even though they don't buy anything for themselves. Yeah, Jack Frost is too high of a level for the first block. Yep. Thank you, Snake Lair. New floor, new enemies! Heat Razor. That found. Use the Jack Frost with Dia. <laughs> yeah, they do buy items. Uh, but. They won't buy equipment if they already have the best stuff in Fez. They won't they won't buy anything if what you give them is the best. And because the uh in New Game Plus files, because the shop's inventory doesn't reset, it'll keep it where it's at at the end game. You can buy end game stuff and put them on them. Put them equip it on your team members, and they'll never buy anything else, because literally nothing for sale is better than that. Which is hilarious. I never had anyone give me anything in my playthrough, so I was like, oh, I guess if they have the best shit, they never buy anything. Which is what made them pocketing the money really annoying for me. <laughs> If anyone's to Yeah, I mean I understand. Yeah, they're they're high schoolers. An excuse to not work uh, a part-time job because you just make mad bank in a dungeon that only exists after midnight? Fuck yeah. <laughs> I mean, think about it like this. I think other than a handful of moments in my playthrough, I always had the cap, the absolute limit of how much money you could hold, which is 9,999,999 yen. And when I was doing Monad, if I had the maximum money, it didn't matter to me in those moments if they took the money for themselves. So how much do you think we were going home with every Tartarus run? <laughs> we were filthy rich children. 
Oh yeah, when it's on those mildly elevated surfaces. Yeah, it's it was actually pretty fun. On some of the more boring days of just Tartarus stuff, you can do stuff like you can get them to go up the stairs that go to the next floor and stand in the corner under them and watch the AI pathfinding um, try to figure out how to get to you from the stairs that they are on because they always they always take the path of least resistance. No, they just take the shortest path horizontally from your location. So they will never navigate around stairs. But that also works for the enemies. On floors where there was like those little elevated corners, if something was down there and you went up immediately loses. It can't climb up the stairs. You're safe. It doesn't lose aggro, per se, but it couldn't reach you. So it was... That was also something that I got to learn the ins and outs of via living in Monad to try to get everyone to level 99. And then to farm a bunch of Persona-related stuff so I could fight Elizabeth. Oh boy, Elizabeth. Oh yeah, they do kinda, don't they? It's very- it's old game. Old game shenanery. Do it again. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I will replay Fez eventually. It ain't happening within this year. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> do it again. I can't fight Elizabeth again. We've already mentioned this. I can't do the Elizabeth or, in this case, the Theo fight because... I have to play the game all the way through. Once in order to even unlock it. No, not Monad. The Elizabeth fight. <laughs> the fuck is this woman still saying? Yeah. No, you can only you can only um fight Elizabeth on subsequent playthroughs. Or at least you can fight her, but it's really not recommended on a first playthrough. How do you Oh my goodness. I could have sworn because it was the whole thing was. Let me see. Yeah, you need to beat the game once. Oh, in Portable, Elizabeth's fight can be unlocked on a first cycle. Ah, yeah, you, not in Fez. So you can do it on a first sight. That's scary. Shit. Well, now I'm gonna have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I can't not. If I can do it in a first playthrough. Shit. Yeah, which means. Which means I also have to do. Um. We're back. I have to max all social links. I'm gonna have to follow a guide. Because I need Orpheus Telos. And then I get to do the, in the fucking awful, mind you, insanity that is getting all the correct shit on all the correct personas. Oh boy! But it won't be as much of a headache because skill cards! Yeah, hey, they're better. Yes, skill cards. And I put, I can platonic people of the opposite gender. So it's not awkward. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> it's still gonna be a nightmare, but it'll be less of a nightmare in the setup phase. Also, I won't be dumb and lose all my homunculi, maybe. Hopefully not. Can't you hoard items and use spells? Um... Yes, both Fez and Portable had damage items. They were the, you know, gems or whatever. They're kind of hard to farm in Fez, though. Are they easier in Portable? Or can you just buy them? You must be able to buy them. Right? Because you can't, you can't buy them. That's... Other than weapons and armor, uh, and the antique shop for certain specifics, I don't think you can get battle items. Or attack gems. Whatever. Alright, just a known. Thank you for hanging out with us. It's nice seeing you. Oh, boy. That is probably what killed me. Oh, yeah, don't. You use many of them. Why not? Man, 150 for Medi Rama is so sad. After this fight, I'm probably gonna leave the dungeon. Yeah. I agree to walk the dog. Yeah. Regen 3 and Big 3 are is very nice, but it sounds like it's basically the exact same strategy, but there's more freedom of creativity in case things kind of go sideways. Most specifically being battle items, the use of skill cards to guarantee setups rather than sitting in the fusion menu for an eternity. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah. Hello, Agidine. <laughs> I mean, it's Orpheus Telos, but come on, man. What the fuck? Dude's overpower- I don't even know if I'm gonna keep Vorpal Blade. He may be just full of magic. Hell, I make it rid of Diorama. Holy 
fucking shit. They they know. Atlas told it tells us right here. Q2. This is our favorite protagonist out of any Persona game because they are just too nice to him. Orpheus tells us. <laughs> Man's too strong. If he okay, if his last skill is victory cry, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Tears of joy, because that'll be amazing. But Q1 didn't have victory cry, so. <laughs> we'll probably go get the the box office ticket requests, since that's one of the last two that we need to do. Minato is even Igor's favorite guest, according to the movies. Yeah, that's just man. They like him. They like him too much. Ah, how do we how do we differentiate the male and female protags when their personas evolve? Ah, uh, give one of them Orpheus Tellos. Which one should get Orpheus Tellos? The male one. Oh, so the female one gets uh, Messiah then? Okay. And give him a Vig one and Fool card and make Dolan. And Heat Riser, and they're like, are you sure? What, what should the female protagonist get? Ah, most of the skill set that he had from Q1 will work. <laughs> BZ was in the game longer, so it evens out. Yeah, jeez Louise, Makoto is... Oh, I'm sorry, Zebi. Zebi is so fucking strong, holy shit. But yes. This is basically all the time I have left. It's 9 p.m. I... I have to get him ready. We don't walk him every single day, but usually it's not so late. We've been walking him more frequently because he's had more energy normal recently. Ah, uh, I digress. Thank you, everyone, for watching YouTube. Thank you, because I'm about to stop recording. Just, yeah. <laughs> I don't use autocorrect for you. Oh yeah, F four pauses the thing. Forgot about that. <laughs> but yes. Goodbye, YouTube. <laughs>